Good afternoon from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landis, a Tyler woman in the hospital recovering from 19 stab wounds. Police say her fiance is responsible. It happened just before midnight at 40, 423 East Ferguson Street. 26 year old Cedric Humble is under arrest. The parents of the teenager shot at the Longview Police Department last month considers legal action. San Antonio attorney Tim Maloney has been retained by the family of 17-year-old Christiana Coignard. They are expected to release a statement Monday. Lots of debate over legislation involving mandatory drug testing for Texans on welfare. GOP lawmakers are pushing bills they say will help keep taxpayer dollars from supporting people who abuse drugs. Well, critics argue that that money spent for drug testing could be better spent on treatment programs. Reaction from East Texans tonight. Possible presidential candidate and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee in Tyler tomorrow. Huckabee will sign copies of his new book, God, Guns, Grits and Gravy, from 9 to 10 a.m. at Lifeway. That's at 5510 South Broadway in Tyler. Huckabee has all but announced his candidacy for the 2016 presidential Republican nomination. And Ms. Texas is raising awareness about heart disease on this National Wear Red Day in East Texas. Monique Evans stopping by Good Shepherd Medical Center, as well as several Longview schools. Well, after a cold and dreary few days, some nice weather on tap for the weekend. We'll have the warm forecast. All that tonight on CBS 19 News.